the name of Michael J. Hart. He said, and who was Michael Hart? Michael Hart was a contemporary historian and mathematician, and he gathered other historians and biographers together. And they said, let us compile a list of the hundred most profound human beings in history. And to make a long story short, they made a category. They set up 32 different categories by which to compare and produce these hundred most great profound human beings. And let me tell you what Michael J. Hart said. He said that Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he placed him at the head of his list. And those with him could not dispute it because categorically he earned that position. And Michael J. Hart said, I would have chosen, I would have liked to choose Jesus Christ because I'm a Christian. But there were several categories that honestly I could not choose him because Jesus Christ was not a father. Muhammad he was. Jesus Christ was not a husband. Muhammad he was. Jesus Christ was not a statesman. Muhammad he was. Jesus Christ was not a warrior, Muhammad he was. And Jesus Christ was not a ruler, Muhammad he was. And so Michael J. Hart and his other collaborators, they said, the greatest human being that has impacted history in all annals of documented history, it had to be Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And that statement you will find You will find it in the archives of the Time magazine, of the New York Times, the magazine they put out, it's in their archives, you can read it. And in some of the bookstores here in Australia, other places, or you can go on the website and put in Michael Hart and you will get a website, put it into Google and you'll get it and you'll see the evidence there. But let me read to you what some others have said about Muhammad, the man, and his message. George Bernard Shaw said, if a man like Muhammad وسلم, were to assume the dictatorship and rulership of the modern world, he would succeed in solving its problems that would bring it much needed peace and happiness. Michael J. Hart said, my choice is Muhammad to lead the list of the world's most influential persons may surprise some readers and may be questioned by others, but he was the only man in history who was supremely successful on both the religious and secular levels. And Castles Weekly said, in little more than a year, he was actually the spiritual, nominal, and temporal ruler of Medina with his hands on the lever that was to shake the world. Billions of Muslims all over the world throughout the last 1400 years have accepted the religious teachings of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, an illiterate often brought up in the harsh desert climate of Arabia, transformed a backward society into a great civilization. Oh, Muslims and non-Muslims. Muhammad, he was the only leader who realized his vision in his own life. He was born in Mecca as an orphan. He was raised in Mecca. He was driven out of Mecca. He was punished, had to flee. He was persecuted. His followers were killed. But Allah allowed him to come back 23 years later as a victor, as a conqueror. And when he came back, 
He gave everyone amnesty. He realized his vision. And after that, the Prophet ﷺ spread his message. He spread Islam throughout the peninsula of Arabia so that Islam became established as a state, as a government. He was the ruler but he was still eating and drinking and dressing the same way that he was doing as he was born and as he grew up. <laughs>